A national state of emergency, with the UK's Met Office issuing its first ever red warning for exceptional heat as temperatures soar over 40.2 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest ever recorded in the United Kingdom. Widespread travel headaches followed, with Brits being urged to travel only if necessary. Hundreds of frustrated passengers waited in the departures lounge at London's Luton Airport after extreme heat caused a section of the tarmac to buckle. Even Parliament was forced to loosen its strict dress code with the Speaker of the House of Commons allowing male lawmakers to ditch jackets and ties for the week. Sorry I didn't get the memo on dress and attire uh, earlier. What next? Flip-flops, Mr Speaker, in the house. <laughs> The highest temperature ever recorded in the UK is 38.7 degrees Celsius, and that was a record set back in 2019. Now, the average temperatures for July, normally around a top of 21 degrees throughout the day and down to about 12 degrees overnight. So the UK is not prepared for this type of heat. Many schools, many homes and small businesses do not have air conditioning. In East London, crews work to contain a fire amid the record heat wave, and more fires in Nottinghamshire. In other parts of Europe, more soaring temps sparking wildfires across the countryside in Portugal, Spain and France. In this village near Athens in Greece, 400 firefighters were deployed and dozens of children were transferred out of hospitals in the area as a precaution. Climate scientist at the UK Met Office, Dr Nikos Christodis, says climate change has already influenced the likelihood of temperature extremes in the UK. The scientist says the chance of seeing 40 degree days in the UK is 10 times more likely in the current climate than in a more natural climate unaffected by human influence. The Met Office says extreme heat events do occur within natural climate variation due to changes in global weather patterns. However, the increase in the frequency, duration and intensity of these events over recent decades is clearly linked to the warming of the planet and can be attributed to human activity.